So is it a good idea to start Game of Thrones now in 2021 after we saw what happened to the finale of that show and all the negative reviews from critics to that season? Absolutely yes. So I love Breaking Bad, I love Sherlock, I love Money Heist, Dark and all of those TV shows. But Game of Thrones is just something else. So if you're not sure whether you should give it a try or not, I say you must do it. And I guarantee, I guarantee fucking tea that you're gonna love it. By the way, if you're new to this channel, allow me to introduce myself to you. My name's Maysam and I'm a filmmaker at Romaya Studio. And welcome to this video. Okay, enough for that. So first things first, Game of Thrones is a fantasy TV show and it happens in another reality. It happens in a reality where magic exists, we have different gods, we have dragons and so on. In that reality, we have only two continents, Essos and Westeros. And the story of Game of Thrones happens in the Westeros. So there are nine kingdoms in Westeros and these nine kingdoms are called the Seven Kingdoms. Weird, I know. To start season 1, you don't need to know all those 9 kingdoms. You need to know only 4 of them. Lannister, Stark, Baratheon and Targaryen. Now, there is a backstory for these houses which leads to the incidents of the show. But before I tell you the story, I should mention that none of the things that I'm gonna tell you are mentioned in the show. But you need to know them in order to understand what's happening in season 1. Now, to tell you the story in a simple way, I'm gonna show you each house with a different color. And as I'm telling the story, I'm gonna show it on the map so you don't get confused. So as I mentioned earlier, there are 9 kingdoms in Westeros. But there's only one throne to rule them all, right? And it's called the Iron Throne. So the person who sits on the Iron Throne is the Lord of the 7 kingdoms and protector of the realm. And the Iron Throne is in King's Landing. And now we live in an age that Aegis Targaryen is the king on the Iron Throne. King Aerys, also known as the Mad King, has three children, Rhaegar, Viserys, and Daenerys. Rhaegar is his eldest son and heir to the Iron Throne. At the same time, in North, King Rickard Stark is King of Winterfell and Warden of the North. King Rickard has four children, Brandon, Lyanna, Eddard, and Benjen. For now, we don't have anything to do with Benjen, so we cut him. Meanwhile, in Castle Rock, Lord Tywin Lannister is the king of Castle Rock and he also has three children. Jaime and Cersei who are twins and Tyrion. Tyrion doesn't have any place in our story. But Jaime is the king's guard to the Mad King. And his duty is to keep the king safe. And finally in Stormlands, Robert Baratheon is the king of Storm's End. Robert and Eddard Stark are childhood friends. And Robert is supposed to marry Lyanna Stark. Eddard's sister. Now all the story starts when Rhaegar, the prince who already has a wife and two children, takes Lyanna and rapes her. Brandon Stark, who was Lyanna's older brother, goes to King's Landing to find his sister. But the Mad King arrests him. And when Rickard Stark travels to King's Landing to take back his son, the Mad King burns him alive and Brandon also dies. After this incident, Eddard and Robert start a rebellion. They gather an army of Northmen to attack the King's Landing. And at the same time, Prince Rhaegar gathers another army of those who are loyal to the crown to attack the North. Tywin Lannister, in the other hand, stays in Castle Rock and doesn't choose a side. These two forces face each other near a river named the Trident. In that battle, Robert kills Prince Rhaegar and the rebel side wins. Now that the crown forces are defeated, Tywin Lannister attacks the King's Landing before Eddard and Robert arrive there. And as he enters the city, King Aerys commands to burn the whole city down in order to destroy Tywin and his forces, and sends his two remaining children to Essos. At the same time, Jaime Lannister, who's the King's guard and sworn to protect the King, stabs King Aerys in the back to save his own father. After that, Robert Baratheon becomes the Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and marries Cersei Lannister. And Eddard goes south to find his sister, Lyanna. But after he finds her, she dies. And Eddard goes back to North. And now the show begins. In the first episode of season 1, 
King Robert decides to travel to North and pay a visit to his old friend. And at the same time, the Daenerys and Viserys are gathering an army in Essos to attack the King's Landing and reclaim their father's throne. There is still more information that I can feed you with, but I think that's enough for this video. You can watch the rest of the story in Season 1. But I have another video coming out with this title. The things you need to know before you start the second season of Game of Thrones. Now, before you leave, I have some advices for you. The show is full of amazing CGI and full of epic scenes, so watch it in the highest quality possible on the best TV you have in your house. The show is full of surprising scenes and as you're watching it for the first time, your reaction to those scenes would be precious. So record your reaction while watching the show if you have the equipment, like what we did last year for season 8. So I wanted to give you a list of episodes that include surprising scenes, so you can record your reaction only on those episodes. But then my friend Hossein suggested not to because he said that it might be some sort of spoilers and I said okay I won't do it. But if you don't have enough storage to record your reaction for all the episodes of each season, you can record your reaction only on episode 9 and 10 of each season because episode 9 and 10 of each season are the most important episodes of each season. And by the way, if you did that, you can send me your reaction videos and I can put them in my channel if you like to. Don't skip the opening titles, it's epic and you're gonna love its music. Do not watch the show with your family. It's probably a better idea to watch Fifty Shades of Grey with your family, but not Game of Thrones. Trust me. Pay attention to the soundtracks because in this TV show every house is blessed with a lovely theme song and as you're watching the show, Ramin Javadi, the genius composer of this TV show, is helping you to understand what's happening. So that's it for this video, but before I finish the video, I want to say thanks to my friend Hossein who helped me for the content of this video and if you had any question, you can comment down below. I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. And I also created a chat box in our Discord server so you can join using the link in the description and we can discuss about Game of Thrones there. Thanks for watching, see you next week.